they went after, and, and I know this because I had my hands literally on the paperwork for these sort of things. They went after high-ranking military officers. They went after members of Congress, both Senate and the House, especially on the intelligence committees and on the um, the uh, armed services committees and some of the, and, and judicial. But they went after other ones too. They went after lawyers and law firms, all kinds of heaps of lawyers and law firms. They went after judges. One of the judges is now sitting on the Supreme Court that I had his his wiretap information in my hand to our, our um, former FISA court judges. They went after State Department officials. They went after people in the executive in the executive um, service that were that were part of the White House, their own people. They went after anti-war groups. They went after um, uh, U.S. international corporate U.S. companies that do inter, uh, international business, uh, you know, business around the world. They went after uh, U.S. banking firms and financial firms that do U.S. Uh, international business. They went after. NGOs that like the the Red Cross and, and uh, people like that, that that go overseas and do humanitarian work. Um, they they went after a few anti-war um, uh, civil rights groups. Um, so you know, don't tell me that there's no abuse because I've had this stuff in my hand and looked at it, and I and in some cases I I literally was involved in the technology that was going after this stuff. And, and, and my, you know, when I said to Overman, I said, my particular thing is high tech and what's going on, you know, is the other thing, which is the dragnet. The dragnet is what Mark Klein is talking about, the, the, um, the, drag, the terrestrial dragnet. Well, my specialty is outer space. I deal with satellites and everything that goes in and out of space. I did my spying via space. So that's how I found out about this. Now, now, Russ, the targeting of the people that you just mentioned, top military leaders, members of Congress, intelligence uh, community leaders, and the, uh, uh, oh, I'm sorry, it was intelligence committees, let me correct that, not intelligence community, and then uh, executive branch uh, appointees. This creates the basis uh, and the potential for massive blackmail. Absolutely. And remember, we talked about that before, that I was worried that, that the intelligence community now has sway over what is going on. Now, here's the big one. I haven't given you any names. This was in summer of 2004. One of the papers that I held in my hand was to, was to wiretap a, a bunch of numbers associated with, with, with a, a 40-some-year-old um, wannabe senator from Illinois. You wouldn't happen to know where that guy lives right now, would you? It's a big white house in Washington, D.C. That's who they went after. They went after, and that's the president of the United States now. And they went after, I can give you names of a bunch of different people they went after that I saw. The names and the phone numbers of, of like Congress, not only the names, but would look like staff people, too, and their staffs. And not only their Washington offices, but back home and their congressional you know, little offices they have at their homes, you know, their home state offices and stuff like that. This thing is is incredible what NSA's done. They've basically turned themselves, in my opinion, into a rogue agency that has J. Edgar Hoover capabilities at, at a monstrous scale on steroids.